Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm your boy Damar and this is Nikki. And today we're going to talk about the work and travel program. Stay tuned. So what is the work and travel program? So it's a program that offers university students the opportunity to travel over the summer to the U.S. and to just experience the cultures of other people in the United States. But don't worry guys, you work while you're there and you earn a little money to help fund your travel and just experience what it's like in the U.S. as well as meeting new people meeting new friends and being an ambassador for your country so it's a good program so what are the requirements that makes one qualifies for the work and travel program so the first thing is that you need to be a full-time university or college student also you need a gpa of over two you need a good agency and please be selective when you're deciding what agency to go with because not all of them are equal. Also, you need the J-1 visa, but your agency will provide all the information and assist you with this process. Also, you need a startup capital. It tends to be expensive, but guys, don't worry. It's worth the experience. So how can you get this startup capital? So as Damar said, the startup capital or fund can be really expensive, but guys remember it's worth the experience and to get the startup capital is there are many places that you can go that will help. So you get some money from some family and so on and so forth, but there are also loan agencies that loan money to students just for the work and travel program. Such place that can assist you guys with this is a place by the placement and career services at UE so you can go and check those out and they'll give you some agencies or they'll give you some places or they themselves can tell you information on what on what they offer for loans for the work and travel program specifically so that's also good too and you can also take the regular bank loans a little partner draw yes man and just go because as said before it's worth the entire experience to be in a new country to be around new people just be an ambassador for your country experience new things yes guys i think it's worth it so just get it so what are some important things to consider when traveling so the first thing is the location you know there are many different states in the u.s and each state has its own minimum wage so it's important when seeking a job because some states will have like five dollars for a minimum wage and an, another state will have like ten dollars so that is important to consider so choosing housing is important and this goes with location as well so you need to have housing in an area that is cheap so that you can have more money to spend on fun and interesting activities also, you can travel with friends to make everything easier. So it will be cheaper for food or it will be cheaper to take the bus or Uber from the airport to the area and things like that. So what kind of jobs do they offer? So for each agency, they have different jobs that you can choose from. So just as Damar said, choose a good agency so you get a better listing of jobs. So the job titles include housekeepers you have administrative jobs like front desk and so on you also have fast food restaurants so you can do different things in these places as well as amusement parks so most jobs tend to be at an amusement park and there are different positions at the amusement park there's there there are ride attendants there are persons who clean up the parks there are different fast food places on the park many other jobs that are on on there are many other jobs that are under the amusement park title even laundry is another job so there is quite a amount of jobs you can choose from so just try to select the best job you can that you think you can manage and be happy in 
talked about MBBA students, can they go on the work and travel program too? Well, yes, if you're an MBBA student, you can go on the work and travel program. However, you can only do this in your first year because that's the only summer year available. So if you've been watching the news, there has been a lot of reports on persons forging documents and submitting these documents to the embassy. Guys, this is not only bad for you, it is also bad for the upcoming students who would like to participate in the work and travel program. So guys, if you have a GPA below two, I think you should take the summer and just do some more studying so you can increase your GPA so you can try again next year. Just take the summer off. And persons are also pretending to be students when they graduate. Do not do this, guys. You had the opportunity when you were a student. This is for a student only. Give someone else a chance. Please stop forging documents. It's bad for you as well as the university. Guys, everybody wants a chance. So let us have it, please. So guys, we've listed some agencies in the description below. So you can just check them out, do your research on each and choose the best one for you. And thanks for watching our video where we talk about the work and travel program. Hope you'll get the opportunity to go on it soon. All right, until next time. See, see you soon. soon. Bye.